let me let me get my um ah, keep me safe. so ladies and gentlemen it is the greatest night in the history of our sport and we get things started air supply are in the way i got to move them um they thought they had prime seats i i they do they're gonna go right in the <laughs> corner here okay <laughs> put them right here they're watching they're watching and they are excited about as excited as air supply will be so uh hi everybody i'm here uh, ben Basco's here. Hey, I got Andrew UK tickets. What's up, bro? That's awesome. hey, I, I so want to hear nice. how that happened in a little bit. Will's here. Uh, yeah, hi. He does not have Andrew WK tickets. Um, 2007, mm -hmm. obviously. Fitz is here. Hi. I burped earlier. Yeah, it was you. And Foster's here. I'm trying to get Tracy Morgan tickets. We're all here. That's yeah. a thing, by the way. He's coming here. Cool. Gang's all here. In, in news, nine months from now, everybody's pregnant. Pregnant. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna put a baby <laughs> in your belly. I'm gonna put some babies in bellies. <laughs> Yo, it's one of those things where it doesn't matter how bad your Tracy Morgan impression is, it's still fun to do, and no Yo. one's gonna judge you. You could, be, you could, you're so pretty, girl. You could date one of the San Diego Padres. One of the San Diego Padres. Jim was my uncle. <laughs> There's lemons. I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad that man is better. Yeah. Well. The fact, yeah, the fact that he, yeah, he, the fact that he killed it at, what was it, the Emmys? And SNL, too, recently. Killed oh, SNL I didn't even see too. on SNL, I didn't even see him on, yeah, that man. amazing? I mean, yeah, beyond the fact Brian that it's Spello. like, oh, hey, look, he's, he's better. Like, yeah, he he's all good, good now. He's all good. <laughs> That's great. Um, so, it is, we're starting off with our Core Thunder. And, we'll see um, how you do here in the South. Yeah. The old South. It is now time for Hardcore Thunder, and Aquarius needs an opponent, and his name is Johnson! No, it's not. Um, oh, you should. <laughs> do no. it. No, because you do know it. it's going to happen. Uh, the Aquarius Open Challenge. That's a uh, uh, shark, right? Or is that a... No, no, it's Glacier. Glacier. Yeah, yeah it totally looks like the shark. Because right. the stream is still loading for me. First name I see, let's go. Let's do it. Who's going to be? Who's it going to be? John Cena, come on. I just all no type John Cena. John Cena. Come do it. I'm ignoring John Cena. <laughs> come do it. Wall Street. VK Wall Street. See? Okay, there. It's not John Cena. Uh, <laughs> Roadblock versus John Cena. You know what? Maybe later, like, after the stream is a little bonus, non-universe thing will do that. Yeah. Like, I did the, like, uh, tomorrow like, night. Like, you gave the me the, uh, the triple threat uh, toy pack. Only without Mark Mero. Yeah. So. That, no, no. I, I just gave you Yoko and... Uh, Ahmed, um, which is all I can I, ask for. No, I'm get. I, tomorrow night, I'm giving you the three-way. Oh, ew. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to start. We kick things off with Hardcore Thunder, and uh, then we're going to go I'm right to the... Yo. <laughs> and, then, and then when we go right to uh, when we go right to Worldwide, we will have the last three second-round matches of the Copa El Dandy, and then we'll go right to the quarterfinals. <laughs> oh, my God. Things are blowing up. I can't even say it. I don't even know what you're gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that that Mark Romero Yokozuna Ahmed Johnson freeway video. You know, that's Hot so freeway <laughs> action. Goddamn right. Oh my god. Uh, coming up just to clean, just to finish up the second round of uh, the Copa El Dandy, we will have Cyclope taking on Horseshoe. We will have the three count demon taking on Shannon Moore. And we will have Scott Flash Norton taking on the Disco Inferno. And then on hour one of Nitro, we will have two quarterfinal matches. Steve Mungo McMichael versus Kenny Chaos and Screamin' Hardcore Norman Smiley versus Roadblock. Roadblock! And then we're not certain um, who the other also, half of the bracket will be, but we know that Malibu Meng is in the other half, and obviously the next three matches will determine the rest of the quarterfinals. Uh, since you announced it on uh, the fucking Hatsu stream, I'm just gonna say that while these matches are going on, I'm gonna uh, update, like, Glacier, because I see what Aquarius looks like at the moment, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and, as the uh, show goes on, I will update. And it's just him and uh, the shark as, uh, and I, I'm just making a separate, like, like, save the original attire to, like, another one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, like, make it, make, um, make Aquarius like, the default wait. attire, but, like, you know, I just kind of copied, what I did was I copied the basic one to, like, one of the extra slots. 
Yeah, um, yeah, Glacier only has two attires anyway, so I can just... First move, Wall Street drops Aquarius right in his head. I'm all for Wall Street being on more hardcore thunders. Yes. Yeah, fucking microton though, man. Fucking hardcore strong style. Fucking varsity club. Rich varsity. Fucking Ivy League. Is that the dude's name? Rich varsity? Rich Vart? Yeah, no, that's Mike Rotunda's real name, is Rich Varsity. Rich Varsity, so, yes. Uh, Rich Varsity. Gash. Let's check the chat and don't don't speak about that. Yeah, I got it. Okay. What the fuck did he do to his hand? Who whose hand? Like when like Jesus. when Aquarius <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate you. I was gonna explain what I saw because it is in lost of time, but no, fucking Batista. We're done. We're no, we're done. Okay. I want for Moses. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! On the fucking steps. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Unnecessary. That ain't right, man. That ain't fucking and, right. And Aquarius is grabbing a chair. You gotta imagine, he is ready to be like, okay, screw you. Oh, it just smashes him in the back while he's going for a weapon. Fuck! I like Where's this! It? Oh my god! <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, uh, Fitz, in uh, 2K14, are the universe shows longer than like the four matches and three matches? You can make them whatever you want. Because I had an idea that might start up in um, in universe mode when I move games. I don't know really? if I should announce this. Yeah, yet. let me know. Orgy mode. Blue Not Monday orgy mode. mode. I don't even know what that means. That means you just do Blue Monday. Oh. Why? Why would I do that? How does it feel to treat you like? Ah, how does it feel uh, like you do? It's fucking new order. I know Orgy covered it. This is fucking new and order. And here comes Icarus. Oh god! Busts him up with the belt. That's Yo, not even the hardcore weight title. They have the. Yeah, it's just a fucking fan belt. These two are putting on These guys a hard starting off. clinic. These things are starting. I don't know what kind of clinic. A fucking <laughs> VD clinic at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they are just beating the ever loving hell out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tweet this in all caps. VK Wall Street and Glacier are beating the shit out of each other. What setting did you put it on to make them do this? Um, the fuck you setting? That wasn't going to be something for me, but there's, there's actually a setting called fuck you. <laughs> I'm liking this. More That's, of these guys on hardcore. Yeah, this Thunder. is not bad. <laughs> Man, I need to find a. Good God! Oh, what happened to yeah. his face? He got hit with the belt. He's busted. Yeah, but it, yeah, he got fucking. Yeah, he got kind of. Yeah, but it's like thing, I don't guys. remember like there being like a cut option where it's just like splattered all over one side of like your face and like That's covering your. That's the option. <laughs> oh shit! Is it? Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Oh shit! And Aquarius. <laughs> Gets the pinfall. It's not like the old acclaim games where you hit in the head with a chair causes your shoulder to bust up. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it was. It looked like though, like, like it was just covering like his, his entire see. eye instead of on his forehead. Jesus! <laughs> Busted open. Hey, Hell um, yes. Let's watch this. I, I don't mean. To, I don't mean to steal your fucking gimmick here. Fitz, no, 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 dude, go for it. By the way, check uh, check the Skype chat. No, is my answer. Okay. Oh, what's this? Ah, there we go. What the? Caraman's drunk. Here, I'll uh, I'll uh, post why. Oh God. Oh no. Is Michael Bay directing this thing in the front? Yeah, I'm oh, there we go. Free camera. Thank you. <laughs> Praise Jeebus. <laughs> Can we tell the Bahamas uh, to stop being over this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
How do I make the uh how do I make the uh the little thing go away? Uh press the back button. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have our um and there's our um BK Wall Street has found God. Right, there's our custom thumbnail, guys. If there's ever yep, that was a CW Universe Mode t-shirt, I think we know what it is. <laughs> oh my <now>. god. <laughs> Only that, you know how like Raven had the ECW shirt with him like doing the pose? That's it. Right there. <laughs> Put the hardcore belt on him. <laughs> 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 I stand corrected. <laughs> He's doing the burn. He sleepy. He's burning. <laughs> like burn. Dentist Mike Rotunda. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, we got our shot. <laughs> it's like he's anointing him. That that is that is amazing. Can we wanna... posterize the head? I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. It's uh, my. <laughs> there we go. There you go. There's your. Uh... Let me get this from the. I wonder if there's anybody good enough at Photoshop to like cut to gif that, cut him out, and put him in like the platoon scene. All right, there we go. He's getting fired full of bullets. All right, enough of that. Let's. <clears throat> All right. Well then. Um. I had to get that out of the way because, well, I friggin' need a, um, I need a, it's easier to get to do that when I want a, uh, a custom thumbnail. So, uh, alright. It's time for the three way. An all painter three way. An all face painter three way. It doesn't have to be an all face painter theory three way. Um, uh, but you put the idea in the head of the chat. I might have. Alright, who do y'all want? <clears throat> Someone wants a real Lord's Lord, so there goes the, <laughs> there goes the, uh, well, shit. <laughs> so there goes the face paint idea. Tom Zank. You know what? Yeah. I do like Mr. JL. Um, hmm. All face paint. So I, I can't have enough guys for all face paint. I had a realization today. What's that? The rumors that Del Rio's going back, coupled with Sheamus with Money in the Bank, the most unending series of title matches of all time is coming back. Yes, it is. <laughs> better not be. I don't really. I'm, I've already got Zenk in there, so let's just go with the real Lord's Lord. I like that. I like that idea. He's a lord, such a lord. There was a Viano 3. Viano 3, 4, and 5. Well, I think Viano 1 was the dad. Viano 2 was his brother. Viano uh, 3, 4, and 5 are all brothers. Who am I? I'm, I'm, I can't even find Regal. Why, 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 oh, there he is. It's unfortunate P. Enos is still down. Yes. Still uh, unable to perform. Yeah, Viano's 3, 4, and 5 wrestled the Psycho Circus, if you want to call it a wrestling match, um, at Triple Mania, and it was the fucking worst thing ever. And because it was of the that, first and because match of that, Melt it is. Good. I believe this is the first match Meltzer gave negative five stars to Sense Heroes of Wrestling. He basically which said, was 99. He said there are not enough scar stars in the galaxy. No, that was about the fucking Volkoff and uh, Iron Sheik versus oh, Bushwhackers okay. match. She did not say it, it was, about that. Well, that was a Brian Alvarez quote, actually. Well, it was basically so terrible, it was beautiful. Which match is this? 
The Vianos versus the Psycho Circus. Oh yes. From um from Triple Mania, it was just the worst. There was mask tearing and there was the Vianos one with a low blow and a roll up, I think. You know, get it because they're heels. I think some... it wasn't it was not only that, it was like there were so many production <laughs> issues like going on while the match was airing. Yeah, there was that too, which you really can't fault the wrestlers for that but yeah it was a but it makes me want to find the really shitty like american feed that it was going... a hot mess that took place in a landfill like all right here we go is that racist what, what's racist about it? it took place in a land it was a hot mess made up of hot garbage I yeah think you sh i think it's some great ideas <laughs> are you on the ballot I, I still don't understand why this is where the race is coming from. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not connecting A to C on this one. I don't know, I'll just call it Mexico a bunch of garbage people. Oh, why would you do that? That's pretty racist to do. No, no, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> Logic. The pay per view ended prematurely as well. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, because they had like they had the ending segment that lasted longer than the friggin' Mysterio versus Miz match. Which the best thing about him leaving is that he doesn't have to use that shitty name anymore. He's like Mystic 2.0, which is not as good as the other Mystic, which is Pizza. Um, Julia Roberts, fine, let's roll. I, I thought you meant the flavored the carbonated sure water. Terrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Mystic Carbonated Water, which is not that good, right? The Knights of Tyranno. <clears throat> Let's all think of other Mystics that are better than Mystic 2.0. Chat, chat in. We got pizza. We've got the beverage. We've got the, the WNBA team from Washington. The Aquarium in is Connecticut. There, is there a Mystic, Mystic Aquarium? Punch. Mystic Aquarium. Yeah, that's where Mystic Pizza's from, I think. Confirm? Okay. Uh, the rapper Mystical. I like it. Yes. He seems like he would do like the fucking gathering of the juggalos or there's some poor shit like that. There's a death called Mystic. He's like a very ca cautious rapper. It's like, oh, shake your ass, but watch yourself. Yeah, but hold and on. Let's not it. get too crazy. Don't go crazy, okay? Don't name a dirt cheek. Calm down. Oh, is not yeah. even fair. Name Into one. The, Into name the Mystic one. by Van Morrison is like one of the best songs ever. Name a dirt cheek. Name a dirt cheek. Name one. Name one. Isn't that Nunzio's finisher? The name of dirt cheat? <laughs> name name dirt dirt cheat. cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I always think I hear that. That's so fucking. That is so stupid and funny. Fucking funny. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm angry at how funny that was, which means it's good. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, we're going for the plunder early too. I love this. Look at that. Tom saying, "I love this like mean streak on Hardcore Thunder." I don't know what has gotten into these guys, other than cocaine, likely. Yeah, because WCW did not have a very good uh, drug testing policy. Did they not? Have, or is that we're just making that up? Did they have a drug testing? No, no, policy? I'm not making that up. That's that's the, that's legit. The drug testing policy was: you're here, you're working. You're queer. All right. Used to it. No. <laughs> Alright, Luis we'll McCauley, get out there. <laughs> uh, going for the Regal Plex. Broken up. Not that it's an elimination. So, not really. Not, nothing much with strategy, just, you know. Uh... <laughs> Two. <laughs> I guess it'd be three words. <laughs> the ultimate solution. Jesus. We're here. We're queer. We don't want any more bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Carlos Danger. Let the bears pay the bear tax. I pay the homer tax. It's the homeowner home tax. He said, I want to buy your rock. <laughs> Carlos Danger. Uh. Oh my god, I think you forgot how much I love that song. Danger! <laughs> oh my god, excellent, excellent pull from that one, Jai Guy. Well done. Nice, nice. I'm gonna have that in my head for the rest of the. Oh, 
German suplex by Regal. And the real Lord's Lord eliminates Tom Zank. It's down to Regal. And oh, spinning back fist. Goes behind. Ah! Oh, super kick right to the face. Rolling into it. Hits him in the balls. Now when Regal does him in the that balls. Is, is that a suplex township? What the hell was that? I don't know what that was, but Aquarius got the win with it. What the fuck was that? Can you replay it? I looked away for one second. You can't keep your eyes off the action. Exactly <laughs> what you said. Yeah, why the fuck not? Aquarius is unstoppable this week on Hardcore Thunder. What the fuck was that move? <laughs> With his dumb bastard finisher. Has that always been his finisher and I just wasn't He used it in the last match, too. Did he really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go to free camera. I let somebody appreciate my suplex township joke. <laughs> what, what, I, I didn't get it. I was asking if... Oh, Regal suplex first. city. No, suplex He's... char. Oh, uh, Spock Shire, fair enough. Alright, so he turns him around. The fucking hobbit. The, oh, let's go right <laughs> here, yeah. Okay, well, this is a terrible <laughs> camera angle. Alright, so they're kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, they're not gonna. Are, Are they? they playing tonight? There goes the no. ratings. <laughs> Alright, so we got I'm the kick to the, kick to the midsection. Spins Bam. around. Rolls into, let's get the guys close up here. The punch right to the, the slap right to the dick. <laughs> like, let's get that. Oh, he's framing it, too. Oh, he's framing it. Oh, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. That's just wrong, guys. <laughs> We're children. <laughs> what do you think, Air Supply? This <laughs> 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 is so wrong. We're children. <sighs> Alright, and then he hits him right in the nuts, because this is what happens. Boom! Right there, right in the nuts. <laughs> oh, that's not a happy face. <laughs> oh, Regal's not happy. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> what the hell? Oh no. <laughs> and Jesus. Alright, and then oh shit. He's trying to pretend it's somebody else. <laughs> so he hits him in the balls. <laughs> and then comes around and yeah, hits him with a kick like that. Nitro girl fire. Nitro girl fire. Uh. <laughs> what? Of course you him that. That is so fucking wrong. I said I'd stop doing the the things, but man, there's so much. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm ripping off your your gimmick. It's fun, isn't it? It's really fun, and I yeah, need to stop. Yeah, blow my gimmick, mate. Blow your gimmick, mate. Well, that's the problem. Is like when you do it, that means we get like three matches in the entire stream, <laughs> and I want to actually move through this thing. It's fine. It's don't worry about it. It's fine. The people demand Roadblock. We gotta get to Roadblock. Well, Roadblock's wrestling in the G1900. We're gonna get to Roadblock. I know. Just being... All right. So. We've got Aquarius potentially running the table. He's one match away from running the table. Who did we want in this? We don't have to get the little drug. Jim Jowie. I feel like it's like everyone's done face paint. Uh, someone wants ice train. I, I am not against that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Clearly, Aquarius is just going to run through them. Like an ice <laughs> train. But in, but in Scott Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Uh... Oh, you don't have to. It's oh, just he a already suggestion. got ice train in there. Yeah, someone wants the things. I think one man who might have to uh, have something to say about this might be... Uh, uh, people want Jowers. We always want... He's the best. <laughs> you know what? Actually... Here, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna reveal something. I'm not gonna put Marcus Bagwell in this. I'm gonna put Jim Jowers in it, but I'm not gonna put Marcus Bagwell in there because he is facing Bobby Eaton for the television title at World War Three. Don't act so surprised, y'all. <laughs> I, I was silent with shock, Brian. 
Yes. <laughs> I'm because sorry. Because you know what? We all love Bobby Eaton, but let's be honest. He's kind of been picking some fights, and he's oh. gone after Marcus Bagwell. And since he's got two belts, he has to defend them twice if he's not going to give up one of them. He's got all the belts, and he wants all the ham. He wants all the ham. <laughs> now, is he still connecting the two belts together so they actually fit around his waist? Probably. <laughs> Who wants Pisces? Ooh, do I do that? Sure. Yeah, why not? Alright, we got some hosses in here and Jim Jarrers. Um, He's a hoss. I have the joss, ultimate call. damn it. He's a if Jim If Jim Jarrers wins a match, I already have the ultimate call. It joss just requires division. him to win. It's the Josh what? Division? It's not the Josh Division. Jardgord champion? Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, I can tell you right now that Bobby Eaton his opponent, where he's defending the television title, will be against Marcus The Things Bagwell. Because Bobby Eaton has been attacking Bagwell in recent episodes. So, well, that's what's happening. Uh, I can tell you that he will also be defending the WCW title. I will announce that opponent later on in this broadcast. All right. Oh, and the Hollywood Barbarian's got himself a ticket. That is and just no one, shirt. He's got one ticket to paradise. What does the Hollywood Barbarian want? Is he still alive in the tournament? Uh, was he no, in No, he was not in it because he was injured. That's right. I forgot how Hollywood Barbarian was. Yeah. So what is the Hollywood Why is the Hollywood Barbarian interested in all of this goofy shit? He's got money riding on it. Now yeah, there's some history here with Ice Train and Jim Jarrett. Jim Jarrett's the biggest victory of his career was he eliminated Ice Train. Uh, something that, yes. you know, with Fire and Ice being so dominant, uh, so turns out there. Ice, turns out Jim Powers, Jim Jowers can melt steel ice beams. Yes. Nice try. Nice try, Jet buddy. Jet can't melt Jill jeans. Jet Jewel Jant Jet Jewel Jeans. That wasn't anything. <laughs> hey, Foster. Joe Jucker, yes. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredibly fair. Oh no, there's no clock. Oh, there it is. Never mind. All right. Well, special guest timekeeper's air supply. <laughs> yes. Because well, there they are. I needed a, needed to see the clock on this one. <sighs> Again. Oh, and Gla uh, Eric Aquarius, the first one to go to the plunder, got a, got himself a guitar, and Jowers with the steel chair. Jim Jowers, the Jeffrey man we all dream of being as a child. Such adversity, such hardship. Will we be able to capture the Hargrid title? Will Ice Train get revenge? Will Pisces still be a human shark? Confused? Going as Aquarius. It will be. <laughs> my, 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 my. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh, Jowers. GJT. And Aquarius. Much like Tong Po and Kickboxer, just kicking and he's kicking and things are coming down and he's kicking. What? That's Kickboxer, Tong Po. Oh. oh. And he's kicking and he's saying, he got moves like me. That was a good Xavier Woods. Oh, sorry, Austin Creed. I lead, lead, my life good. Probably not. JJT? Damn it. <laughs> Two people in the chat were, were, were popped for my jet jewel jet jet jewel jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Which is way easier when you're reading it. You're trying to say it in your head. Jowers last week took Roblox to the limit. If not for the appearance of Bobby Duncan Jr. of Texas, he might have won. That's how we're gonna remember that happening. That's true. Everybody. Yeah, I, I think. I, well, he did. He did show up. He didn't make himself involved. He didn't get involved. He distracted but his presence enough. enough. 
I think his present germite paint, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his presence alone, a, I think, was enough. It's a gingerous magic damn. <laughs> oh, and it was like Aquarius busted open by his own his own stablemate, by Pisces. Oh, there's really no allegiances here in the Oh god, there's a cup of jizz. Oh god. Cup of jizz just rolling around the left side of the ring. Ringside. <laughs> Pisces <laughs> has the stick. And ah, oh, Kendo stick to the back. Oh, like Shower a cow. Just getting beaten. And I think Clea Aquarius just mowed over Jowers when he was rolling into the ring, which is pretty funny. I don't know that would happen. And of course, there's a table in the middle of the ring. Still hasn't been used, which means uh, it won't be. And ice cream. Ah, oh, back elbow. Again, Aquarius only has to survive. Doesn't have to do anything more than just that. <coughs> he is almost halfway there. No elimination. There must be a winner for the title to change hands. And Aquarius, ah, oh, backbreaker on his partner, Pisces. And Jowers smashes them both the back of the head with a chair. <clears throat> All right, we're, we're reaching the halfway point. No one's been eliminated. Who do you like in this one, guys? Fans. I believe I in Jim Jowers. You can't pick against a defending champion. Yes, yes, I mean, you can, can but you, <laughs> you can. You, you're saying you're not going to. Okay. Yeah. He's, on, he's on fire. And Jowers has set up the table, <laughs> and he set it on Gyre. <laughs> well, everybody's <laughs> table's on well, Gyre. Enjoy this flaming table for the next four minutes and forty-five <laughs> seconds, people. <laughs> What's with all the guitars? I don't know. Jet Mule can't met Jill Jables. <laughs> hey, hey, who's that playing the guitar? Has anyone ever got to a flaming table? I don't think so. I, but multiple times has the table been set ablaze and nothing, ha and it has not been used beyond that. Not only that, it has continued to burn for upwards of five minutes. And you can hear the crowd chanting at Jim Jowers, Ju Jik Juk, Ju Jik Juk. <laughs> Pisces is eliminated. Oh, Jim Jowers with a Pisces. Ice train cover on Aquarius. Oh, it is down to Ice Train oh, and Jim Jowers oh with four God. minutes to go at a flaming table. <laughs> Still Jowers can do it. He can do it. Come on, Jimmy. Get that. Will the flaming table melt Ice Train? That Choke was him. awful. Hate him, Jimmy. The answer is no, because it will not be used. Jow's your chance. Check yourself, I'm Janus. not going to lie. If we have we have three minutes and 41 seconds, if the flaming table is actually used, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. <laughs> No, I Jim, don't get caught up in this. No, I'm don't flinch out on me, Jimmy. Stop picking things up and putting them down. <laughs> what are you doing, Jowers? <laughs> no, Jim, no. You have He's looking minutes. for kindling. Uh, Jim. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, the this... game beat you. <laughs> this is... No. <laughs> this is wrestling. Oh, no. Can you pause it? Maybe I'll stop him. No, no, we're doing this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jim Jowers has lost his. Snack. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get myself a snack. Watch his favorite. Me, y'all. I'm gonna get myself a snack. DQ said he's OC. Check. Um. <laughs> no, Jim. So, Jim, he's he's got the chips. <laughs> chips. No, I'm so mad. <laughs> He was Joe Close. <laughs> don't don't get Jad. Get Jad. Oh god damn! There's a there's a <laughs> jitch in the Jatrix. Uh oh. Wait. wait. What's being There's lost in this is Ice Train staring at his hand for yeah. two minutes straight. By the way. I had my call ready for when Jim Jowers won. This is what's really making me mad. So did I, too. I was so mad. The Joyhood Dream Jazz Jump Drew. Mine's better. <laughs> what was yours going to be? The Jim Possible Dream. Oh. <laughs> this is so sad. Jim Jowers folding under pressure. <laughs> 
Well, that obsessive convulsive disorder will do that to you. As the time ticks off the <laughs> clock. <laughs> this is the funniest thing in the world. Fans, we like to assure you that we're going to get the help that Jim Jowers needs <laughs> to overcome his serious mental problems. <laughs> <laughs> the table is still burning. <laughs> <laughs> How can we sleep when our tables are burning? <laughs> da, 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 da. This is the fucking funniest <laughs> thing in the world to me. <laughs> Good night, Joel. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Dweet Grin Grins. Ah, damn it. <sighs> you tried. I. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Just put air supply on the table. <laughs> air supply, their table's like their mixtape fire. She didn't jar the gyre. She always journeying. Ginger Gerald's been journeying. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> and Aquarius is gonna retain his fucking title. I told you he was going to do it, Pasco. You didn't believe funny. me. I can't believe this is actually happening. This is... This, fuck this game. <laughs> so hard. I might go away for a little while. <laughs> this is our karma for Bobby in winning the G1900. Yeah, now he's an ass. You understand, like... <laughs> we've had too many streams where the right things start happening. <laughs> this is the unit... We're dupe, this... We were due for this. <laughs> this is literally the universe writing itself. The highlights we got, guys. <laughs> Let's see what the decisive moment was. Four minutes of an idiot throwing. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> well, the decisive moment was not anything about picking things up and putting it down. Oh well. I I don't agree with the chat. I don't think Jim Jowers does deserve a rematch on the next Hardcore Thunder. I think he just folded under the pressure. That's what he's got to go to the Jack of the Giant. Exactly. He had a golden opportunity. While a I golden job opportunity. Brains in with his forehand. He had God a golden job opportunity. I'm just wow. disappointed. I'm just disappointed. You are disappointed, aren't you? I'm. Cheating. All Jim Jowers had to do was take Ice Train's hand away from his forehead and his brain was spilled out onto the canvas and he would have won by technical knockout. But he blew it. He had the gyps. <sighs> Alright, folks. It is time to continue. Hold on. We're going to have to... Oh, got to play the video. Tell us what it's all time for now. Who are you to, to, to doubt El Dandy? Dandy, Dandy, Dandy.
All right. Let's get this dog and or pony show rolling. We have three second round matches here in the second uh, in, in, in the Copa El Dandy. And then we will know the identities of our quarter finalists. And we will have at least the first half of the quarter finals tonight. We're going to get things started. Cyclope and Horseshoe. Followed up by the Three Count Demon and Shannon Moore and Scott Flash Norton versus the Disco Inferno. And for whatever reason, Kenny Chaos versus the Maestro is the fourth match. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get things started here. Cyclope, former champion. Former WCW champion, still the Lucha Lawyer. Gonna get himself back in uh, back in main event contention, guys. He's uh he lost the title to Roadblock, by the way. <clears throat> kind of, um... <clears throat> Anyone else there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm listening to you. I'm, I'm playing some Bracketology over here. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out who's facing which one of these men is going to walk into Malibu Meng's arms. And walk out. Ew. They won't walk out. They'll be in a wheelchair. They'll be dead. <laughs> Gonna kill him. Oh, oh horseshoe. This, Ooh, is, I don't this, want... this is getting really intense. All right. Yeah. Malibu Meg. Fucking Jim Jowers is out. I need to trust somebody. Yes. So. Yeah. Well, it's, here we go. It is Cyclope versus Horseshoe. Freaking this tournament flew by. Yeah, well, like it's the first round. The, well, the first round will take a while, and then you know. Uh, next week we're gonna have the uh, new um, sort of the quarterfinals that week, and then our one of my favorite World War Three will have the two semifinals. And the finalists, the finals will be at World War Three. So of course, World War Three will have a huge card. Um, Bobby Eaton will defend his WCW title. We have not announced uh, his opponent yet. He will also defend the television title. We have announced that he will defend it against Marcus The Things Bagwell. Of course, we don't know who the hardcore weight champion will be at the time, but that, of course, will be defended in a typical four-way match like you would see in the final match of Hardcore Thunder. Uh, Fire and Ice throwing down the open challenge for the tag team titles yet again. No idea who that'll be answered by, <clears throat> but we will uh, certainly find out. And a lot of girly slaps by Horseshoe, and of course our main event, the 40-man World War III Interval Battle Royal. Bat and pending. Yes. Now I've never been to a World War Three. Will the will there be competitors in previous matches in that match as well? Uh, probably because there's forty and I'm I can't. Yeah. I mean I think the WC and the winner of that will get a shot at the WCW title currently held by Bobby Eaton. Also the Copel Dandy Finals, correct? Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh yeah, and the Copel Dandy Finals. That's gonna be a big show. Mm -hmm. Someone say the road to Starcade starts there. I think so. I think that's something we should also patent. The stroll to Starcade starts right there. Yes. The strut to Starcade. Guys wrestling. Other guys. Matches. Yeah. Other guys fighting dudes.
What do you think of that, Michael Kane? I don't understand. Oh, going on. Thanks, Michael Kane. Cyclope whooping some ass. I don't know any He's Spanish. He's taking this to the outside. Referees count. I think, of course, she likes it outside. The yes. norms of society. Well, we also talk about how the fact that Barbarian was at ringside for that hardcore weight match and did nothing. <laughs> he really just wanted to see the show. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The promenade to Starcade. Um, back when everyone on IRM used to be part of a, uh, another wrestling thing, uh, the show was called Lancecade, and it was the lane to Lancecade. And then after that, because Lancecade died, it was trained to, the show just became Fuck It Trevor Murdoch. Yep. It was pretty stupid, but whatever. Yeah, I wanted to call Garrison Cade the second time. It should have been Garrison Cade. It should have been Garrison Cade. But then he's like, well, Lance Cade died. Like, well, we're not making fun of him. We're just naming him Cade. <laughs> yes, it is side clip. Oh, back suplex. Oh, it is a backdrop driver, basically, by Horseshoe. <clears throat> ah, butterfly suplex. Per Eraseu, pervert. Poor yeah, the poor, the some the ass. pervert. Oh my god, the poor suplex. Pervert. Loving after it. Suplex after suplex. <clears throat> Horseshoe. Oh. It's like we've got here. Oh, and a headbutt to the, just between the shoulder blades. And he's got horns on him, so he basically stabbed him. Yeah, it was pretty much a stabbing during the ring. Oh, has him set up for the tombstone! Dia and Horseshoe de los back muertos. up with his feet! Oh, he's the Perro Pervert fighting spirit. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's where the hard camp was. That's why Parparian was at ringside. Damn it, you're right. <clears throat> and you know, the interesting thing is who will be selected to face Bobby Eaton because Bobby Eaton has to defend his titles both of them so he'll be wrestling twice in the same night we know that his opponent in the television title match is Marcus the Things Bagwell he may die <laughs> I mean that's true there's a very good chance a man that's will die live very true live ring death a uh, live ring death baby Second, he's he's started to make a lot of enemies, and he's coming down to ringside. Oh, speak Coldstone, Bobby. Who's he after? This is the thing. He could be after both of them. Well, I don't know. Speak of the devil and, and his what's he, brother. He is here. getting a very close look at this. This is amazing. Just as we were talking about him. Oh, it looks like he's fine with Cyclope. Oh. He's oh, and a horseshoe. Throws him into the steps! Oh! It did not pay off for Bobby Eaton! That is convenient! It really is! Because, okay, I'll because say it now, it was gonna be Bobby Eaton versus Horseshoe, guys! With a WCW! Because wow. he's been going after the members Championship. of the Sex Dungeon of Doom. It's Fat versus Fap. <laughs> And Horseshoe had a cover, but I guess the referee oh. was... I'm assuming Bobby Eaton's rolls are jiggling all yeah, over the place. Yeah, he was grossed out by it. Uh, I want all the hell. And a big float over suplex by Horseshoe. Kinky Kawada. And gets the win! Oh, Kinky God. Kawada. This is getting very, very... I mean, what does Horseshoe have to lose? Nothing. If he loses to Bobby Eaton, guess what? He's still in the goddamn tournament. <laughs> well, I mean, at that point, we won't know if he will, because that'll be, it'll be the finals at that point. Who knows? And there is a great freeze on the horseshoe. Well, things just got very interesting. Because horseshoe has basically, you know, that's the thing. Like, Bobby Eaton had the match against Penis. Put him back on the shelf. <clears throat> and now it's... And now he's got a. Uh, 
and, and he's he's attacked the maestro, I believe. So might as well give him the head of the sex dungeon of doom. Emphasis on head. Yes. The <laughs> dom, if you will. Top dog. I can't believe this game just does things that we want to do sometimes. Yeah, and then Jim Jowers gets has a meltdown. <clears throat> so it will be Horseshoe versus Bobby Eaton for the WCW title at World War Three. And our next match, the three count demon. Count it. <laughs> One, two, three, demon. Versus the man cultivating mass, Shannon Moore. Former teammates. Yes. Three count. I don't know if it's exploding, but Shannon Moore is expanding. Three count demon might be the uh, the replacement. This is uh, getting pretty interesting. So the next round match will be Meng versus Horseshoe. Jeez. It will be Malibu Meng versus Horseshoe. That is correct. As we God help reach, us all. As we reach our eventual eight. The eventual eight, indeed. But we're going to have the first half of the... Uh, I believe we're going to have at least the first half of the... Uh, of the um, quarterfinals tonight, because that's the next show. It's going to be two quarterfinals on, on Hour 1 of Nitro, two quarterfinals on Worldwide, and then the two um, semis will be on uh, Nitro before um, World War III. So I believe our... Uh, So we know three of our quarterfinals right now. Steve Mungo McMichael versus Kenny Chaos. Norman Smiley versus Roadblock. Norman Smiley, bit of an upset. Bit of a Cinderella story here. And Malibu Meng versus Horseshoe. Well, Roadblock eats Cinderella stories for breakfast and concrete cinder blocks. His teeth are, it, it's hell on his teeth, but he loves oh, it. Oh, it's terrible, yeah. <laughs> he's got, he's all gums. <laughs> oh, that dropped it by Shannon Moore. Still has his agility despite his uh, girth around the waist area. Yeah, Malibu Wing versus Horseshoe, and then it will be either the Three Count Demon or Shannon Moore versus either Disco Inferno or Scott Norton. Pretty pleased with how this whole tournament is shaping up so far. It's not like we're gonna, it's not like we're getting a bunch of random guys who aren't used regularly that are like making it far. Like Norman Smiley's the one Cinderella story kind of thing. Like I'm fine with any of this so far. What channel is the goddamn baseball game on, by the way? Uh, TBS. The goddamn TBS. <laughs> the goddamn Tibis. The goddamn Tablespoons. Oh shit, I didn't realize there's a new 30 for 30 on tonight about. I didn't realize they're still doing them. Yeah, it's ESPN. They... Which one is it about now? It's about David Schultz. Not Dr. D. David Schultz. That'd be the greatest thing about anything. About, uh, <laughs> the guy who got shot by John. By, I want to say John DeBomp, but that's the director. <laughs> <clears throat> that's fair. And it's Foxcatcher. And of course, all these matches, 10 minute time limit, and none of these matches have gone to a draw. I'm watching baseball, this is crazy. I know. But this game's been good. Uh, it's, well, it's because I care. Well, I mean, who want Cubs? <laughs> Fuck the Mets. <coughs> It's a team that hasn't won in, that hasn't won in a long time against a team from New York. This feels vaguely familiar to me. <laughs> Not like, oh, you know, yeah. And they're also down two nothing in the series, so like uh... greatest week of my life. You don't even understand. <laughs> no, no, we understand because you remind us constantly. Yep. 
Uh, Roadblock, by the way, uh, would be the British Roadblock. 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 Could you please, could you please not go through here? Imagine liking Roadblock. Roadblock's problematic. Roadblock doesn't hang out with Teddy Hart, even though he's a rapist. Um, just a little one second. Uh, Roadblock can't handle the banter. MTQ pointing out, uh, <laughs> if the winner of the Copa gets a title shot. A TV, TV title, title shot, sorry, TV title shot. Could be Bobby Eaton versus Shannon Moore. It sure could. could. Look at that, like, could be Bobby Eaton versus Meng, but he's got to get through. They announced, you announced this guy earlier, right, who's facing? Uh, Mal oh, yeah, yeah, he's facing uh, Marcus and Things Bagwell at oh, He's got to get through the things. He's got to work through some things, but he could be facing his old rival, Malibu Meng. It could be Eaton versus Roblox in the Haas battle. So that is the thing. The, um... Teacher versus student, it could be Eaton versus Moore. Um, the uh, that is the thing. The World War Three will set up the two singles title matches for Starcade. World War Three's winner will get a shot at the WCW title. The winner of the Copa El Dandy will get a television title shot. German suplex by Shannon Moore. <laughs> and that's the thing. Shannon Moore was the hand-picked selection of the snack pack. Bobby Eaton said, "You know what? You want to you want to prove yourself." Go compete in this, and he, uh, Bobby Eaton, I think, knew what he was doing. He he, he handpicked him, and in the ropes, not good ring, ring awareness there by Shannon Moore. Boot to the gut. That's going to his head. Ah, nice power slam by Moore. <laughs> and still has that agility. Springboard. Oh, splash. Oh, he's And that dead. extra weight has got to make that so much more. Super kick! Super sized Super kick. kick! No, 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 hold on. Super sized! Super sized kick! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes, the winner of the Cobell Dandy gets a television title shot. The winner of World War Three gets the WCW title shot. So, World War Three will tell us. Oh, and the demon slams into the mat. Could this be it? Yes, it is the three count demon oh. eliminates Shannon Moore. Feed me more. I didn't feed him enough or too much, depending on your point and of view. And the yo. three count demon. Right, Regan. Three count Regan. The three count demon gets the victory. And his opponent will either be will be the uh, winner of the final second round match. <clears throat> Scott Norton and the Disco Inferno. Men with no history with Bobby Eaton. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't think so actually, yeah. <laughs> but Where still, that's Norton? that's a thing that's happening. Well, Scott Norton has just been absolutely dominant in the tag division. Ice Train upset surprisingly in the first round of the tournament and then there's the Disco Inferno who's just kind of been hanging around being a, uh, a tough he's never he's not an easy opponent he refuses to die like Disco will <laughs> he's going up against Scott Norton hot to Scott Norton I'm wrestling champion Minnesota native you've got a native? muffler baby Scott Norton I what what he's got a, what I don't know, I'm just talking. No, it's fine, I know. I'm trying to... I'm trying to I keep didn't this know he's from Minnesota. Scott Norton took out Marcus Bagwell in the first round. They nearly went the distance. They were the longest match so far in the tournament, actually. Um, Disco Inferno took out Johnny B. Bad. The winner gets the three-count demon on the next episode of Worldwide. The spot in the eventual eight. Yes, is on the line. Up for grabs. Oh, God. It's fire versus crotch, people are saying. The Lindsay Lohan match of the year. <laughs> uh, Darth Gallagher says, I don't know, I'm just talking the line of the night. That's kind of accurate. There we go. Ah, Disco going for a tackle. Slot Norton just sidesteps it, has the reverse wrist lock. Disco fighting out of it. You know, Disco is, is, is a goofy son of a bitch. 
he's just weird and goofy, but he gets it done. He's he's improving himself. He gets results. He does get results. Good point, Will. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> Unlike Disco. Yeah. Just die. Because of lack of results. Hypnosis. God damn it. By the way, I'm going to post a link in the chat. If you are not aware already about irmstream.wikia.com, there are live updates. Live updates to the bracket as the matches are happening. You can see it on that page. Oh, and just a, a clubbing blow to the back of Disco Inferno. Oh, just working over the meaty part of the back. And Scott Norton just wrestles him down. No, no better way to put it than that. A little, a little booty shake. Disco brings out the booty shake in everyone. Well, it says it on his trunks, uh, his tights. Oh. It says, shake your booty. Takes off the ropes. Big back body drop. And some chops on the menu. Oh, and Norton sent to the outside with that chop. Jesus. Doug Hole. Building. Oh, damn it. I'm not, build, I'm not booking building and Doug Hole. Uh, Artie Pack. Yep, Artie Pack. Nor will I book a, a man named Marshall Arts. How about Rob Banks? Uh, famous was he CHW? Is that who he was? Pasco, that's yes. what you would know. That's you're, you're the you're the black guy. I'm sorry. What was the question about uh, CHW? Rob Banks. You really is think about it. Rob CHW Banks is CHW. CHW has right? better gimmick ideas. Yes. Than Rob Banks. For. Rob Banks is CHW, and he's the best part of that stupid, fucking, amazingly terrible company. No, like His gimmick. gimmick. It's Nikki Chance. Yeah, he's, he actually like put effort into his stuff. He just taped cards to his shirt. That is more than most of them have done. More you than uh, LOL, he... LOL Swede wins. Oh, does he? Does, does he? The really... guy who books the company always wins. Oh yeah. And also, they have the general manager who's bigger than everybody and should wrestle. Also pretty funny. I think I like Rob Banks the most because he's the one guy in CHW that doesn't fucking talk. That's probably why. They all have. <laughs> like, everybody else opens their mouths and I immediately hate them. <laughs> yeah, that's a good line. Everybody opens their mouth and I immediately hate them. Meanwhile, we've got a barn burner going on here. Wrestling architect build. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the building, brother. <clears throat> and the hypnotic crotch. Ah, oh, slammed by Scott Norton. No He's having his way. Oh, double axe handle right to the groin. Oh, Jesus. Let's see in a second. Oh, it takes out the leg. Another one to the groin! Oh my god, those double X handles right to the crotch! Scott Norton is repeatedly... Is repeatedly... Oh no, he's gonna break his back and make him humble. Nope, he's not. Oh, another kick to the dick. And decides to work over the arms. Stomping the butt. Oh, but a lot of, a lot of, a lot of crotch action. A lot of crotch, uh... Working the crotch. You'll never shake that booty again. I think that's what Scott Norton wants to wants to have happen. He's <laughs> he's working the booty. He is working the booty. He is shaking it fast, but watching himself. Ciao, my dear And Scott Norton, Scott Norton is completely in control of this match right now. And this I say, a disco with a snapmare, <clears throat> but in the ropes, the referee, of course, bringing this to a stop. Oh, and just going back to the legs, lower body in general, big slam. Oh, dumps him up behind his head. 
Scott slash Norton lifts him up. Oh, oh he's got him in a torture rack. Oh, this looks so effortless for him. And Disco taps. Disco is dead. Disco Broken is dead. Okay, all right, your winner <coughs> in five minutes. Hold and on, the wrong Rick. music's playing. Uh, over uh, Blake Keen in the chat, uh, you should book a jobber from a good background oh, bed like Wicked J. Listen. ESW, How legitimately. Dare you. ESW, legitimately. We've watched a lot of backyard beds. It is by far the least terrible of all. Because oh, there's yes, actual w, absolutely. attempts. Those goddamn Royal Rumbles, like, were actually legitimately good. We had fun with them. But it's still a backyard bed. It's like, uh, you don't want to encourage it. I'll never call backyard bed good, but that's the one where it's like. The humor doesn't come from what they do as much as, as much as how they act. Like there like was a guy named Bean or Andrew. That's where yeah. the humor comes from. And they had that. Remember that Wicked J Aztec match? That's like legitimately like the best death match I've seen all year. No, what was it? What, the Aztec one where they match? hit, they threw, they power bombed onto a toilet. Excuse me. We watched it. I don't remember this. We might have to watch Our, it again afterwards. We found out they're coming back in business. The Circle of Chaos match. Oh, they didn't have a ring? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Why was that an Aztec thing? Oh, because the guy's name was Aztec. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be like a Lucha Underground kind Extreme of Rumbles were the best, though. They were. <clears throat> Legitimately good. Even though everyone's name was terrible. Like, old school Giddens. <laughs> Who is oh, G? Yeah. Wicked G! <laughs> what, Wicked. Ma what makes old school Giddens so old school? He wears a Spurs shirt, I guess. That's an old school team. I guess. All yeah, those guys are old ish. Fundamentals. <laughs> but CHW is like, <laughs> if there was ever an ESW versus CHW show, it'd be the greatest. The greatest show of all time. CHW is my jam. It is. I, I, have, a, it is, I have a feeling the ESW guys would fucking shoot on the CHW guys and it would be the best thing ever. And it, CHW is what NW Mountain State should have been. <laughs> it's Especially when you realize mm. they have tutorials on how to build weapons and entrance ramps. And they're all like, and from knowing someone who lives in that area, that's like a shoot. They really are like, they run shows and they really think they're good at wrestling and shit. Like, it's not a joke. <laughs> Wait, CHW? CHW is not like I thought it was like some sort of interactive theater arts piece. It's not. It's real. <laughs> you thought it was an interactive theater. Arts interactive piece. theater arts piece. <laughs> that's that's the multi best. That's the best insult for that I get. Unless you were just thinking of a really creative acronym for ICAP. <laughs> like, CH CHW Genie and the Lamp matches. Check them out. Fucking amazing. They are you. You find yourself rooting. For the big spot to go horrendously, and it on. always does. No, it doesn't always go that way. <laughs> we were the disappointed first once. The first in the lamp one, the big spot went actually like the way it was supposed to go, and I was I was mad. Who's your favorite, least favorite person? Like, who's the person who you know you're getting the best match in terms of how terrible it's going to be? Miniac. El Eliza Raven. Eliza Raven and Miniac. Friggin' Eliza they said. They said the that's Divas horrible Revolution that we're saying pack. that about about the about the girls in the Fed. Does anyone know, okay, I gotta ask. Does anyone in this chat currently know what the hell we're talking about? As we, by the way, we're starting off the quarterfinals. With this is why we should Mon bring back holy shit. This happened it's with Steve Mongo McMichael and Kenny Chaos. Uh, All right, now we can continue talking about this. I had at least set up what's going on right there's now. There's discussion. I'm I'm quietly acquiring to see if there's enough to be done. But yeah. Eliza Raven, the greatest, worst. I don't know how to post pictures in the chat. Come on. Well, I love how they would have like matches in the. You just post the link, I think. Um, they would just have matches like in this alleyway, like this in this vacant lot, like a house should be there, like a town, like a row house should be there, but it's not. And well, now they have, now they have a yard. They I know they've 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 moved up. To they, they they've graduated up to backyard wrestling. There's enough bad wrestling that we found <laughs> since then that we could probably like. There's stuff we don't even and the, the fallback was always VFW. No, V is it VWF? Yeah, VWF. Excuse well, those me. are the guys in the yeah. That was something different. I always like VWF because it was it was different. Um, 
I feel like VWF is the character-driven humor of like backyard uh, wrestling. Where the what characters dude, are dude, you can't absolutely. you can't post you can't post them that way. Stop it, please. All right, I tried. I did twice. Okay, it looked like there was like more because no, that was only twice. <laughs> Though that yeah, it's gotta be like a dot JPEG or dot yeah, like the one the Eliza Raven one worked. That's weird. That's not weird, but the former so. site of a meth house. Have we watched DGW? What is DGW? I don't know. Have we? I, I don't know. Probably I don't know not. You're, the, you're, you're more on top of these than I am. I don't know. Man. I only have so many hours in the day to watch bad wrestling, guys. Who knew there was to, so much bad back I'm trying to kick, in the world? I'm trying to kickstart a YouTube career. William the Black of Playtime New York Backyard Wrestling. Doggy Global Wrestling? Oh, no. I think that's no, that's a joke. joke. It has to be. I, DGW. No, I, they, both have blue, they both have blue names. So I was like, oh my god, no, please let that do the it's thing. It's Danger... Is it Danger Zone? Dangerous Grove Wrestling. I just searched DGW. Right. I hope it takes place in an orange grove. Oh my god, it'd be the best. Orange Grove Deathmatch. Right, I remember... Just, I'll be, I'm gonna be right back. We have enough few playground feds that, that I remember. Like, oh my god, he's got a he can't fucking arm ringer with nothing. His arms. <laughs> see, see, yeah, McMichael's arms are so small for the tape where that when you try to put him in like a in like a hole around the arm, it looks like he's grabbing thin air. There was that one playground match that we watched where like they did like actual moves. They had like a little kid who did like fucking lucha shit. Yeah, it was legitimately it's good. It's probably the New York one that, that Ghost the Ghost Dad is talking about. Because someone we know used to go to him. Thanks. Backyard wrestling does not count if the wrestlers are trained. I think um our I think our Donovan used to go to him too. I believe so. Our Donovan, aka our man in Mexico, aka Dex. Yes. Oh my goodness. Dangerous Grove Wrestling. Orange Tree Grove, that'd be amazing. Ugh, there's just so oh, so much great bad wrestling. Uh, does DDT count as backyard wrestling? No. I, Only I, that I, one I, show, and it was a campsite. Like, no, because they run actual shows. I don't... Things. Just, it, if, even if it took place in an actual backyard, I wouldn't count it as that. It's backyard like That would be program. calling, like, Tournament of Death a backyard show. Yeah, it's, 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 that kind that's, of is, backyard, that's backyard professional wrestling. No, yeah, backyard, backyard wrestling, wrestling kind of implies the lack of training. Exactly. You have to make a you have to make a clear distinction. Backyard wrestling, a tenant of it has to be that that the wrestlers are not trained. Was Generico he, on DDT? That's a good question. He was in he was in Dragon Gate. I know that. He, he did some DDT stuff. I okay, think. so yes, the answer is yes. So oh, I think, he did, I think he did one of the campsite matches because he was like. Oh really? Okay. Because there's there, there's a there's a photo. I'm gonna link it of. And this is this is this is El Generico in DDT with Kota Ibushi. And it's ridiculous. Yes. Also, uh, I know he was in. That's not um, it. That's the letter V. <laughs> um, he was also in uh, Dragon Gate. He was meant part of uh, Tozawa Juku. That's it. He was their that's, foreign that's, exchange student. That's what he was. That is a wonderful picture of El Generico. Kota Ibushi having a fun time at camp. That should be that should be an eight by ten. It really should be. That that's the campsite. Uh, an eight. I thought that eight by ten. Hmm. Eight out of ten would attend, would camp again. <laughs> is that what thing I remember? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, the Japanese bathhouse deathmatch, like that went on. That was it was kind of I was kind of disappointed by it, even though there was even though there was attempted drowning and a lot of nudity. Oh God, back suplex on chaos on the outside. You could hear that smack. These guys have been beating the hell out of each other, by the way. This is all for a television title champ, and TV is dying. Yes. What will these men these die These two for? men are killing each other and this crowd doesn't care. They don't care. 
I like to sing really, really loud. Well, it began. I don't know why. Oh, God. Uh, chaos. Oh, has him lifted up. Oh, torture rack. Oh, drops him. Shock treatment, appropriately enough. Tells him to get up. Uh-oh. Kenny Cass lifts him up. Running power bomb. Cover. Could Kenny Cass be the first semifinalist? Two, three, he is. Wow. Kenny, Kenny Chaos. Chaos. Your winner, five minutes, 29 seconds. Danger, high voltage. Two wins away from a television title shot. And he still makes weird faces every time he wins. Like that hair is just terrible. It really is. <laughs> Goddamn young Bernie Sanders. I was say from that angle, it looks like he's just like it looks like it's a, like he's balding in one spot, but like not in a normal spot. He's on his way to become one of the Three Stooges. Oh my God! Hey Mo, danger! High voltage! Hey Mo, you should flip the switch. It's terrible. <laughs> it's fine. It's terrible. Also, Kenny Chaos. Lost member of the Straight Edge Society. Yes. In the new, no, excuse me, the new New Nexus. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> which means, as I just hit publish quickly, which of course the, uh, as always, the bracket updating live on the Wikipedia page. And that means that Kenny Chaos is the first semi-finalist which means in next week's Nitro, hour one of Nitro he will be competing against the winner of the following match is it the screaming hardcore warrior Norman Smiley in his big wiggle jersey or is it the concrete obstruction himself roadblock Block, road, road, block, block, blocking roads, and I block all the roads. I hate roads, and I'm gonna get in that way. <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop you. I hate everything. I don't want. I like traffic, and I love traffic. I love traffic. Roadblock. I hope you're late for your doctor. Roadblock. And I hope your mother dies. Roadblock. Whoa. This is getting dark. The ambulance can't, can't even get by. Okay then. Um, roadblocks a dick. Interesting. <laughs> why did that not work? Oh, oh that's why I put in the There we go. Okay. This again, the quarterfinal. Norman Smiley took out La Parca in the first round. Oh, sorry, no, he took out The Cure, Prince Iakea. Then he took out Mr. JL in the second round. Roadblock defeated the Zodiac in the first round. Then he submitted Jim Jowers in the second round. The former champion wants another title. Ooh, that's bad. And he's just gonna whip his ass, isn't he? Oh, wait a minute, Norman. Probably. Oh, we got knee lifts by Roadblock. <laughs> Here's a chance for Norman Smiley to be the number one babyface in WWE on the other side of Jim Jowers. Seriously. And a big suplex. Oh, Brain Buster by Roadblock. Good lord. And Moon Smiley working the arm. I guess that's a smart. Oh, kicks to the face. Well, it, it's not a hardcore match for Norman Smiley or even a hardcore weight match. But uh, he's just doing all right for himself. He really. And there's Blake. 
<laughs> Why didn't we put him in this tournament? Come on, it's obvious. It's roadblock. We gotta have only the top. We gotta have the top uh, oh, competitors man. in this. I don't, I don't know. In a way, I'm kind of worried that if I switch to the new game, all these things, these fun little quirks, aren't there anymore. Wait, what quirks? Because they might be on. Oh, hi! Hi, I'm back. Hi. Cool. What um, quirks are you talking about? Like, the fact that like some guys are just really good. No, 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 that's still in there. Okay. Attitude Mo has proven that it's still in there. Uh, for instance, Gilbert. Well, no, but like, we, there are guys in WB12 that are that are really good for some reason, and I want to make sure that like it kind of is some sort of semblance of... No, there's um, an editor for oh, okay. all the stats for people in the game. All right, all right. There, so. my, well, my WWE. And, you and by the way, as, as, a, as a bit of a booker stats. here, and as a bit of a booker man booker here, man. Um, I gotta have Roebuck on here, because you all want to see him lose. Big monster heel. Yeah, he's my monster heel. Better than Sean O'Hare. By the way, I don't I don't go into it too much, but uh, for 2K14, I found a really good fucking roadblock, so... Oh, God. More road. Yeah. Oh, God. 75% more block. Stomps on the face of Norman Smiley. The winner of this match has Kenny Chaos waiting for him in the semifinals. And oh, takes him down. Oh, arm bar by Smiley. And he's going after that arm. He is working over the arm. Clear looking for a submission. Um, punches him in the head. Norman Smiley up in a strike. I don't know if that's... <laughs> Mario, you might just anger roadblock. Look at the size difference. Oh, an elbow on his head. Or a knee. An elbow or a knee. Is Mark Gullui never in W? I know he wasn't. Probably not. Like, yeah, well, there's no Tijo Khan, but nonetheless. Roadblock. Oh, hey, no. there's a oh, stomping right on the arm. Oh, he's returning the favor. Roadblock's been working on his arm the entire match. He is just stomping on the right arm. Oh, and goes for an elbow to the knee. An elbow to the knee. <laughs> okay, chat, are you guys aware of Mark Gulleen? Because I feel like they need to be educated about my Mark Gulleen of the house Gulleen. His name is Mark Gulleen. Oh, no, and the bear hug. Oh, God, is this the dead end? For Norman Smiley. And he has to tap. Oh. oh LOL. 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 Roadblock and wait a minute, here comes Alex Wright. Oh, he's too late. He's too late. And he's winded. He just got out of the shower. <laughs> found out there was something wrong. Fuck's sake. <laughs> that is amazing. I cannot make that up. Last second. That's too fucking funny. That's so great. And Roadblock is in. The Fatal Four. Wait. It doesn't seem like The Final Four. Oh my god. That was so friggin' perfect that he just didn't. Ah, it's so funny. Let's see it right here. He's just giving him a big hug. Oh, that's so cute. I know. All right, your winner in four was it four minutes and fifty six seconds by submission. By Roadblock. I, I found out something, by the way. What's that? Uh, the main hitbox stream is kind of like blurry. So I did the pop out and I shrunk it a bit. It's perfect now. So uh, for, yeah. for for the way you're watching it, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Hopefully it won't be a problem because I'm getting fucking the congratulations. I'm getting fucking uh, hmm. what's it called? The Fios on Saturday, so yes. Yes. shit's gonna be fucking nice and smooth when I stream. Yeah, we can't end, guys. We can't end on such a on such a slow note. Y'all been hanging out with us for the entire night. Let's close it out with some hardcore thunder. Uh, yeah. Hardcore let's let's thunder. close it out with John Cena versus whoever he is gonna oh, fucking wrestle. Oh, we'll, we'll do later. that as well, but yeah, not in. By the way, I might do a Back to the Future attitude mode tomorrow night. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how I'm gonna. F I, it might I be don't like. I don't know how you're gonna do it either. Attitude guys versus current guys, I don't fucking know. I'll figure out something. Uh, maybe, maybe we All can right. do a dark match for, for some young hungry bucks that want to get into universe mode. John Cena Someone versus. Someone wants. Oh my versus, god. Like, Roadblock is our Jimmy Havoc. I love it. Uh, I hope he suffers. Oh my god, it's so great. All right. Jerry Flynn, someone wants Glacier, or sorry, Aquarius. A little breaking K tape here against Jerry Flynn, the man who shows people his poops. Fake <laughs> poop. <laughs> What'd you think about that roadblock match, uh, Australian soft rock group Air Supply? Oh my god, hold on, I gotta do something. Tonight, air supply versus air supply. <laughs> what happened? What happened at the top of his guitar? <laughs> well, because that's where the photo stops. I know. <laughs> there wow. Alright. Air supply are not pleased. <laughs> they are all out of love for Roadblock. Uh, oh, I don't still have the England Dan and John Ford Coley uh, picture up. Oh, I can pull it up there. Let's see. And uh, just to get another um, another input, what do you think? Uh, ah! uh, what do you think, England Dan and John Ford Coley? They'd really love to see you tonight. Well, one of them would, the other's not so sure. All right, here we are. Hardcore weight title on the line. Aquarius, Jerry Flynn. fighting out of it you know may not need any plunder in this match they might have all the weapons they need at the end their of their limb oh. yeah <laughs> dick not their dicks that's, yeah of course that's silly and we'll uh, conclude tonight with hardcore thunder so we'll see uh See what uh See what happens. Will Aquarius run the table yet again? Oh heart punch! Oh and Jerry Flynn collapses! Oh my god! Oh my god, <laughs> we might have a live ring death. No, we can't. No, no, we can't be bothered. And just to run down the card, so we will have one more universe mode before we get to the final, uh, the next pay-per-view, which is World War Three. I think we basically uh, have an idea of the entire card for World War Three right now. We'll announce <laughs> it. The main event, 40 men, one ring, budget cuts. <laughs> it is the World War Three single ring interval battle royal. 40 men will enter, the last man standing will get a shot at the WCW Championship. That very title will be defended 
at World War III. Bobby Eaton has picked a lot of fights before and also after becoming a double champion. He has refused to give up one of his titles, so he will be defending them both. He will defend the WCW title, the same belt that the two men, uh, the 40 men competing in the World War III single ring in the, 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 the match. He will take on none other than the leader of the Sex Dungeon of Doom, Horseshoe. He will also be defending his television title against another man he has been going after and attacking. Back with, oh god, ladder to the fucking face! Holy shit, Aquarius! Oh, and fuck your ankles, by the way. He will take on Marcus the Things Bagwell for the television title. The tag team championships will be on the line. Fire and Ice, the dominant champions. We'll continue. Oh, crutch to the face. You guys are just walloping each other. I love this. This is great. This is what I want on Hardcore Thunder. Oh, take that, ref. Go fuck yourself. Um... And then he, w and then basically, okay, so it will be a uh, an open challenge. So let's see, we've got the 40 man interval single ring battle royal. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Bobby Eaton will defend the WCW championship against Horseshoe. He, Bobby Eaton will defend the television title against Marcus the Things Bagwell. Fire and Ice will have an open challenge to defend their tag team championships. Who will answer that open challenge? We do not know. We will have a hardcore weight four-way match. We don't know who the champion is at the moment because there's still going to be another hardcore thunder between now and World War III. And of course, the Copa El Dandy Finals. He, it will be either Roadblock or Kenny Chaos in that match. Their opponents, still not sure, on Worldwide, on our next stream, we will have the two other quarterfinals. Those quarterfinals are, uh, I believe it was Malibu Meng versus Horseshoe, and Scott Norton versus, who's the other one? Uh, the Three Count Demon. <coughs> By the way, I think Aquarius as the hardcore weight champion, very good thing, because Jesus, he is vicious in all this. He is, he is the, uh, I'd like to see Aquarius take on, like, Steve Blackman at one point. <laughs> well, you got Jerry Flynn, that's about as close as you can get. Cut the mold off him. Yes. Glue, cut the mold off him, glue the beard hair, or glue the like the, the mold hair to his face like yeah, a beard. Yeah, that's basically how it works. There you go. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh god, hi cat, what do you want? My cat's being annoying, what's up? You're being fucking annoying, cat. I know. Does he want to chime in? We'll see if he wants to God damn, nice kitty! Oh, you want to chime in? Who do you cash. think is going to win the Copa El Dandy? Where's your cash game? He's not saying anything. He is, however, sniping the mic. Yeah. And they're taking this to the outside. Jerry Flynn looks in a bad way. And all Aquarius is looking for is some sort of weapon. There is a cup of jizz on the floor. We'll see if that comes into play later. <laughs> Jerry Flynn is the fecal weapon. God damn it. He is, isn't he? Fucking hell. <laughs> and more more weapons coming into play. A garbage can that at one point was full of semen. Popeye lived in there. He likes to get naked with to the like a brim. Woman. And a... Oh, chair shot. Oh, to the face. The first time it missed. The second time cracked Aquarius. Oh, he's going to put it in the corner. This is not good. Uh, both going for super kicks. Oh, bunch of martial arts goofy shit by Aquarius. Ollie, who do you think is going to win the Copa El Dandy? 
He's just sniffing the microphone. He has anything to say. That means can of chaos. <laughs> can of comes. Oh, and Aquarius just sends him right into the chair in the corner. Goes for the cover. Could this be enough? It is enough. Aquarius. Four for four. Yes. A well, five for five, technically, when he won the belt. Uh, yeah, well, no, four, four defenses. Four defenses. Currently, four defenses. Oh, shit. Would you guys like a SmackDown spoiler, like, guys? Um, sure. <laughs> Tyler Breeze? Would okay. the God 35 it. people watching the stream like it, too? Yeah, that's... that's. Thanks, Fitz. Oh, did he show up? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really a... Sp I mean, they were saying... Kyle, it Kyle Bree showed up, guys. You know, well, the summer. Apologies to the stream yeah. if you didn't want to be spoiled. The Summer Ray, you know. Wait, what? Summer Ray and Tyler Breeze. Summer Breeze. No. They brought them back? They're... That's the team. Nice. She they debuted were doing, as They a... were doing that in, FC, in, uh, in uh, FCW. He debuted as uh, her new, um, I think her new man. That's actually a really good team. That's That was a Nailer thing. Well, Summer Breeze was like a... Uh... Oh, no, sorry. No, no. English Breeze was. Yeah. Made in English. Or English Summer, English Summer. Sorry. Alright, anyway, we need a three-way. Um, I'm having to be screen accurate night right now, so one window I have uh, the stream, and the other window I have a VK Wall Street versus Sting match going on so I can get his attire down. Jesus. Alright, well, Nine, <laughs> Ironically enough, it's from nine... Ironically enough, it's from 9-11, 1995. Well, that is a disaster. Um, someone wants the maestro because I can't. I feel like we can't have a stream without maestro. By the way, let's check out. Yep, penis still hurt. Uh, penis still uh, uh, still injured. Seth says that you got to put Hollywood Barbarian in it. He bought a ticket. He did buy a ticket. You know what? Here's uh, the thing. I say that our four-way. Is Hollywood Barbarian, Ice Train, and Jim Jowers. I'm okay with that. Give him another chance. Let's go out with a big one. Let's go out with a big one here. So, um... Do you know that... By the way, do you know that VK show? Wall Street had fucking... He had tearaway... He had a tearaway suit that he came out in. Well, I mean, I, I can't imagine you had to, like, undress like that. Yeah. Seals is unsure, but Croft seems into it. Guys, today's one of the great day. Okay, I want NWK tickets, and I need to end this day with Jim Jowers winning the Hardcore Weight fucking title. All right, we need a third one. I don't know. Ah. <clears throat> uh, oh, uh, go to Cyclope. Cyclope. No. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was that Mr. JL. Oh. I have a question. Unrelated. Is Cross Andrew WK's dad? <laughs> Someone did say Mr. JL in the chat. We did just have Cyclope. Also, we haven't had, we haven't had Mr. JL tonight. Uh, uh, how about Damien? You know what? Yeah, let's do Damien. I like it. All right. I like it. Showers equals we will party hard. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. So excited. You know, like, I didn't explain. The best part of the concert is that I was talking to my friend about the other day about concerts. I don't go to them anymore. And I was like, you know what's really fun at UWK? But I only know his old stuff. So I won these tickets where all he's playing is his first album. I'm like, oh, fuck yes. This is perfect. I love when they do that. What? How'd you get these tickets? I retweeted. Oh. It was, you know, when they say, please retweet, if you want to win a chance, I, I actually won one of those. <laughs> Wow, that's kind of cool. New Year's Eve in Boston. I mean, good luck, you know, getting around. Ah, uh, whatever. But hey, you got a, you got, you got a free night. You got a, you got free plans for New Year's Eve because you yeah. got tickets. Yeah, and like, it's he's you playing. Just I get wet. there and back. I mean, he's I don't playing. Know. I get wet. Um, where it is in Boston isn't too hard to get in and out of. Well, that's good. Because there's like, obviously, there's parts of the city that are worse, but it's like. 
It's all of it. Close enough to the outskirts. Like it's close enough to the exit. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, if you're driving, it's not the usual. It's the usual. Blah blah blah. Be careful if you're New Year's shit. Yeah, I might be looking about. I, I really, about. I, I honestly, and maybe it's just me getting old. I fucking can't stand New Year's Eve. I wouldn't have we doing anything. I haven't done anything about seven years, but I just want to fucking. Honestly, last la last year, my girlfriend and I we ordered Thai food. We hung out in our fucking pajamas, and then we drank champagne at midnight, and that was about it. It was, and we and we we and we fucking stayed in because none, cause, like no one else was really around, and that was perfect. That's all I wanted to fucking do. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't have to deal with crowds and covers and getting dressed up. Like, no, we're good. Go I can just jizz. fuck. I can just pretend like I'm on the East Coast and go to bed early. That's a good idea too. That's a good ass <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll be home for Christmas though, so that, that won't work. No, I've had like too many New Year's Eve things that were just miserable. So, for whatever reason, for a couple of years, a what's that? I'm more of a fan of Summer's Eve. I'm more of a fan of Summer's Eve myself. Uh, you, well, because you are a douche. Um, <laughs> Summer's Eve is a douche. Right? You, you knocked down. You knocked that. Yes, you did. You knocked down out of the park. Good job. Uh, you did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try it again. Well, because you are a douche. Thank you. Thank you. That was much better. So, for whatever reason, like, so I, I have season tickets to Georgetown basketball, and one of the, uh, for whatever reason, like, a couple, a couple different years that I've had it, they've had games on New Year's Eve, and they've had like a six o'clock game on New Year's Eve, and it's fucking terrible. I mean, it's before everything starts happening in DC, but it's still just like, ugh, oh, I gotta do that, and then, you know, you know, if you're gonna go out, you might as well just stay out from there, and it's like, I, that's just such a long ass night. So like, one year I, I, I went to one of those, and then I went home, and I was supposed to meet up at my friends and just have like a chill thing at their place, and I was like, okay, cool, well I gotta stop home, I wanna, you know, change into something not as sweaty, because I was at a basketball game, cheering and jumping and stuff. And I gotta pick some stuff I'd bring over. I show up to their place, and it's and I'm the only one showing up because everyone else already left to go to another party, and they had no idea this was gonna happen. It was like, um, oh, hi, yeah, so we thought everyone was staying on midnight too. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is one of the saddest things. I have had very sad New Year's Eves. Fuck New Year's. Oh, oh. New Year's Day is great, though. Yeah, Kumite's that day. Exactly. Not only that, like, the actual other things. College football <laughs> is also wonderful. Uh, the actual football. other things. Fucking chill. New Year's Day is great. Like the thing we do. <laughs> that fucking hilarious, Will. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Actual other things. <laughs> now, now, do they have it now? Where do they have it now? Where the two college football playoffs are on New Year's Day? Um. Or just the one? I don't even know. I don't know. Um. I think last. Oh god. Was last oh my god. Maestro just brained. Damien in the back of the head with the belt and he collapsed. That was amazing. By the way, last year's college football playoff was the best because Florida State got their got their comeuppance and then Alabama Ohio State was the best game of yeah, the year. Yeah, and then Ohio State won it, so no one really got to win it out of that. No one else felt no one felt good at the end of that. But that day was great because every I Ohio State they, they fought I don't like Ohio State, but I hate Alabama. Okay there, Tammy. I, I, is Tammy an all? Is Phyllis from Molga an, an Alabama fan? She's the Bama one. Tammy from Clinton is the Auburn fan. Ah. Uh, and I forget which side I man uh, is on. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, not the side of Rutgers. That's for sure. Plus a slew of lesser Virginians. So, so Nap, are you headed what now? Oh, that's a good reference. <laughs> that's that. a good ass reference, you two. 
Gosh, you guys got any no. Ronald Reagan material you want to share too? Don't they still have like the other bowl games? Yeah. Though? Like they have like the Orange Bowl and the other fucking ones that used to be called the BCS bowls. Hang on, that <laughs> that was a reference from 2007. <laughs> Just because oh, it involved the guy with Taco and <laughs> And the Maestro. Oh, Damien going under the ring for something. He comes out with a guitar. Oh no. That's an 80s reference. <laughs> yes, no, that's a that's Elvis. That's a 50s reference. He's just El Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> Damien is Elvis. El Hombre de Honky Tonk. El Hombre Honky Tonk. Hombre Honky Tonk. Hombre de And he's got the can of cum. Can of cum. Can of cum. The guitar does belong to Air Supply. Again, thanks to Air Supply for supplying us with air and guitars. Look at that can of cum just rolls around the ring. Like you throw down the thing on top of it and the thing is great. Oh, Aquarius the cover on the maestro. One, two, oh, one count. Doesn't even get two. Interesting spinning back kick. <laughs> Kanokum. Oh my god. You ever just like listen to what we're saying on these things and just question your life? I'm gonna go back to my Sadly. critique of how commercialized and ridiculous bowl games used to be. Used to be back in the old days, Cotton Bowl was just a Cotton Bowl. They're this just, year is named the after college commodities. bowl playoff speed final at the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. Back when they were named after commodities. <laughs> The Sorghum Bowl. <laughs> the Crude Oil Bowl. I might have to find myself a good customizable football game so I can have the bowl games and do like the Sorghum Bowl. Alright, uh, uh, update. Yes. VK Wall Street has been made. And by that I mean I, I edited the IRS. I figured. I'm surprised it wasn't an IRS good. with that like as an alternate attire. That's what mine no, was. No, this one had like fucking. This one had IRS's debut gear, which if you don't remember was the fucking normal top, but he had shit brown tights. Oh god. Like, now he had red. He and the referee is completely concussed. And there's a cover on Aquarius. Is it enough? Aquarius has been eliminated by the Maestro. It is down to Maestro and Damien. Two minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. These guys have been giving the, each other a savage beating. And can Damien... Oh, he's going for a single leg crab. Is Damien going to do it? What a moment this would be. Losing his license to practice law. He's been kind of lost. Could he find himself in the hardcore weight division? Not quite yet. Two minutes and eight seconds to go. The frozen orange juice concentrate ball. I was trying to get to that eventually. I like it. There, the there, KFC nope. famous ball. Oh, yeah, no. That looks so yes. disgusting. Oh, and I man. That's, that's one of the early bowl games. Might be the first that one. That better be the early bowl game because you're going to be a sitting on a different bowl during the late bowl games. <laughs> bowl game, Maggle. Haha, <laughs> I bowl love it. Bowl game, Maggle. It looks disgusting. And this is coming from someone who used to eat the Taco Bell Border Bowls. Damien wins! Damien wins! Oh my god. The Border Bowl sponsored by Taco Bell, though, is probably a bowl that will happen. I already had the Fiesta Bowl, but I want like a just there's gotta be a bowl game that makes me happen like El Paso, yes. other than El Paso, other than the Sun Bowl. Hey, my pick did it. And Damien is your hardcore weight champion. He is the 14th on record hardcore weight champion. 
And we're going to close things out with one big match. We're not... Uh, if I recall, it was going to be Ice Train, Jim Jowers. And who was the third one again? Can someone remind me who it was? And his name is John Cena! No. <sighs> it was the Hollywood Barbarian, thank you. Yeah, you're right, right John. Dingus. Like your tongue. Sorry, such uh, language. Okay. Ow, that, that's pretty painful. Words hurt. Alright, where is he? There we go, the Hollywood Barbarian. We're doing this again. Jim Jowers. <coughs> And Ice Train. I can't believe we're doing this again. The Glacier and Ice Train ever team up in this? Cause they seem like they'd be no, made for they each should, other, you know. Though. I, you're right. You're absolutely right that you should. Oh, God. I'm just I'm I'm having I'm flashbacks to the last match. Oh God! Did you <coughs> I'm editing Glacier, right? By the way. Ooh, you mean Aquarius? It's like, yes, that's well, he's a Glacier right now. He'll be Aquarius when I'm yes, done. So. Yeah, that's right. All right, this is Damien's first title defense, and what a big one to be! Their main event, your main event of Hardcore Thunder, your main event here of the Universe Mode. Damien, Jim Jowers, The Hollywood Barbarian, and Ice Train. I mean, this is basically what, you know. Dreams are made of. It is what dreams are made of. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Do, 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 do. We have the baddest man on the planet. And three other guys named Ice Train, Holly Barbarian, and Damien. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're gonna try this again with Jowers, guys. Let's try this again. Yeah. Ice yeah. Train going right for him. He He's is. saying, yeah, Jim Jowers. Guys. No, Joe means Joe, Jim Jowers. Wow. Throwing some meat and potatoes. Oh, big side slam. Ah, Ice Train. This is uh, uh, my character called Good Old BP. Oh come on, everyone! He's going too far. Learn to work. More like the Janus Jan, John the Janet. Thank you, Ghost of Ghost Dad. Stop jamming. I'm so excited for Jim Jowers to be the first one eliminated. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Or or it's gonna be down. It's gonna be exactly the same. It's a kendo stick back in the ring. Oh, barbarian. He is a barbarian. He's got the kendo stick. Oh, how cruel. Oh, he's using the kendo stick on the man whose chance at the hardcore weight title was thwarted by possibly that very same semen encrusted kendo stick. Oh, God, just throwing some stomps. He's like, sis. <laughs> he's like Simeon Glover. Stomp. Oh, a little bit. Teaming up here, both Ice Train and the Hollow Barbarian going after Jowers. Ah, they hate fun. They I mean, I hate that, fun. I think that, I, I'd be fine if that was Fire and Ice. It's basically Fire and Ice's gimmick. And what's Ice Train got? He's got a ladder. Yeah, awful oh, band, no. right? What's that? Yeah, fun's an awful band, right? Yes. You look into my nephew's eyes, and I realize it's weird to look into. Is our night. We are 
our fun. That's the name of our band. We are a bunch our of guys. Our band is called Fun. And I'm dating Lena Dunham. Oh, really? uh, someone is. Okay. Come on, Jowers. Go, Jowers. It's the Jill Jelson. Jill Jelson. Come on. The oh, but I just trained Jowers out. Uh oh. I straight. Oh. Oh, a running mop. <laughs> the jizz mop to the face. Uh, Damien. Oh, there's God. There's something inherently oh, racist about this. Spears ice train into the ladder. Christ, the hot oh. barbarian. Well, last week he got a closer look at the action. I think this is that was his decision. He wanted to get take part of it. He wanted to get him some. Barbarian Yeah, something, something. Hot barbarian, of course, names all his moves after himself because he's so full of himself. Barbarian whip. Yeah, why not? Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Power bombs ice cream through the ladder. Barbarian bomb through the barbarian ladder. <laughs> I'll stop. Barbarian, oh, the bombarian. It's a bombarian. Bombarian. Ah, oh, Jim Jowers. He's jots a jair. He's got the jail jair. To the jut. And he's got G -G the. Uh, he's got the uh, the jizz mop. Oh, just up across the back of D of Damien. And by the way, all four wrestlers still in this match. Approaching the halfway point. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in this contest. Someone go with me on this. G. Jaleeb. G. Jalita G. Jill Jin. G. Jalita G. Jill Jin. This is Joe Hart. I find myself doing it in like regular conversations sometimes by accident. I'm sorry. But you get in the habit of it. It's not good. It's not an easy letter to add. If it was ours, ours would be so easy. Oh, another power bomb by the Barbarian. Floats barbarian over on the bomb. champ. Oh, one count. The champ will not go quietly. He will not go quietly into the night. This into is the night. Independence Day. Come on, Jim Jowers. You've had the moral victories. How about a real victory? You've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roblox. You've gone to the end of Hardcore Thunder. You have a mustache. Oh, Barbarian went right head first into that chair that was lodged in the corner. I didn't realize there was a chair there. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Oh, big clothesline by Ice. But he's also Tongan, so like... A song of fire and ice train. Remind me to remember that for next time they tag. No one watches Game of Thrones in this call, so... Barbarian boy. How about James of Drones? James of Drones. <laughs> the new hit show! Damien James has been Jones. eliminated! I guess Damien's, yeah, Damien's out! Oh, now it's two hosses. It's a hoss battle. Barbarian and Ice Train. Vikings and oh, Ice. Oh, God. Oh, pile driver on Jowers! No! Oh, no! Oh, and Ice Train busts open Barbarian with that crutch. And he is. Just beating crunch. on Jim Jowers with the crutch now. Kinda, he's hitting him. I don't think he's actually hitting him. I think he's yeah. just hitting the mat around him. Oh, we finally hit him? Yeah, finally he did, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and he goes after Barbarian who is bloodied up. Oh, and Jowers to the outside. Christ. Again, Jim, you just minutes. need to survive, Jim. Three Come minutes on. and 21 seconds to go. Power bomb by the Barbarian. He barbarian loves bomb. Barbarian bombs. <laughs> I don't know why Barbarian bomb just sounds so fun. And it's very fun to say. Ah, oh, they're taking turns with Ice Train, trying to melt Ice Train. Well, I mean, that's the thing. They, it might as well be teaming up right now. Someone that has to win to be the champion. Oh, Ice Train fighting back. Back fire drop on the Hollywood Barbarian. And Jowers go behind. He's got the Joel Jelson in. Joel Jelson! Joel Jelson! And Ice Train breaks free. Oh, 2.45 no. to go. Come on. And again, this might, be, this might be the time where you have to team up on somebody. You have to go two on one and say, let's get him out. Because none of these three men can be champion unless they win the match. Jowers to cover. Ice Train is out. It's down to Jowers oh, God. and the oh, Barbarian. Come on, Jim Barbarian. Jowers. Jim Jowers. Always two a minutes and 20 seconds to go. Always a Giants made. Never a Giant. Come on, Jimmy. 
Come, Come on, champ. Jess, Jess, Jess. Oh, crushed to the face. The already bloodied up face of the Ohio Barbarian. Come on. Jim Jowers. You're Jowers. not from Hollywood. You're from you're a Jolly Oh, running man. knee strike. You're, you're from Jollywood. Yes, Jollywood, Jim it's Jowers. Hollywood versus Jollywood. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. He's J Bone Duplex. Cover. Could this be it? Two. He's done it! The Jim Possible Jim! Yeah. Jim! Jim Showers! Bro, you the joy of Jim has jumped true! Do you believe in Jericho's? Jericho's humanity! Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. The oh, hero! Uh oh! Why can't you hit B? Why can't you hit B? Well, I didn't have a chance to. Oh, he's just gonna get so many oh, people, okay. I think. Maybe. Oh, like. no. And Hollywood Barbarian. Wait, what is Jowers. he doing? That's penis! Penis! Is taking out Jowers! Oh, sends him into the post! No! He's into the ruined. steps! Penis <laughs> <laughs> has come in to ruin Jim Jowers' good time. Jim Jowers oh. may have made a huge Zero. enemy. Just when you think everything's great, a penis ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> Typical patriarchy. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, I'm... this is why we can't. This is why we can't have Jice Jinx. He's the champion. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but penis beat him up. That's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Jowers is now a champion. Jim Jowers is your hardcore weight champion. But not for long if penis has, has anything to do about it. Penis has returned. We look forward to seeing him back in action. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, that is it for us. I, I, I think that is a good place to stop. So on our next episode, we will have the final two quarterfinals of the Copa El Dandy at Worldwide. That will be Malibu Meng versus Horseshoe. And the Three Count Demon versus Scott Norton. At Nitro, hour one of Nitro, we will have the two semifinals, which will be... Kenny Chaos versus Roadblock. And the winners of the two quarterfinals that we don't know yet. So either Three Count Demon or Scott Norton versus Malibu Ming or Horseshoe. We will then have Hardcore Thunder. And an episode of Worldwide. And then we will have and that will be our next stream. And then following that up, we will have World War Three. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make that official right now. There we go, World War Three. I think I have to make it at the Rumble Arena because of the stupid way the game works. You mean the World yeah, War Three yeah. Arena? Yeah. Oh, poor Cubs. What's that? I said, oh, poor Cubs. Yeah, it kind of is appropriate. They lose. It? No, they're. It's not looking great. They're, they're doing themselves. All right, well, that's it for us for Fitz, Will, Ben. I believe we had Foster for a bit. Uh, is that everybody who was on the call today? I think, I think so. it was. So thank you from all of us here. Uh, again, thank you to Fitz, Will, Ben, Foster, Richard Vranch on the panel. This is me, Ryan and Joseph, saying good night. Good night. <laughs>